Hello, Internetians. My name is Josh A.K. Ultra Player, your coach of the New York Metagross. Welcoming you back to DBL Season 5. We had our draft recap a while ago. And Week 1 is finally upon us. And today we are facing off against Blaze Templar, coach of the Nebraska Neuburn. Now, the reason we had such a long time between the draft recap and Week 1 is due to the fact that we have preseason games in the DBL. So we face someone that we're not going to face in the regular season and have like a warm-up battle to get used to our team and everything. It was really fun. I faced uh, Mitch Master, coach of the Carolina Crabats, and I 6 0 him with Calm Mind to attack Suicune. So that was cool. Moving on. As I said before, we are taking on Nebraska Neuburns, coach, uh, coached by Blaze Templar. His team should appear below me now. He drafted the Volcanian, the Silvali, the Empoleon, the Celebi, the Weezing, Pikachu, Mega DNC, Flygon, Heracross, Roserade, and Toxicroak. So, interesting team. He um, has a lot of ground weaknesses, one thing I really noticed. He has just a really interesting team altogether. It's very slow, it's very weak to a lot of stuff. I'm not really sure how I feel about it, but. I'm not going to underestimate it just because of the way I see it. I mean, this could be more geared towards his building and drafting style. So, Volcanian, very good Mon. Water fire, uh, water fire, very hard to switch into with that monstrous 130 base special attack. So, Volley can be any type. Gets stuff like Parting Shot, all kinds of coverage. Kind of a nuisance. He has the Empoleon, which can set up Stealth Rocks, can defog, can... Be offensive, can just be a bulky pivot in general. He has Celebi, which can be very versatile. He has access to stuff like U-Turn, Stealth Rock, Giga Drain, Psychic, Nasty Plot. Uh, very good setup sweeper. So there's that. It can also just be a, another bulky pivot. He has quite a few bulky pivots and stuff like Volcania, or Silvali, and Polygon, Celebi, and you'll see. You see some of the others later down the road. He has a Weezing, which is a very good physical wall. Gets stuff like Toxic Spikes. He has stuff like Will-O-Wisp. And stuff like Flamethrower to take down Steel types. He has a Pikachu. Uh, this is my first time saying that in League format. Is he has a Pikachu. But can still be a decently strong wall breaker. And kind of a threat against me. Just due to the fact that I'm kind of electric weak on this draft. However, I do have stuff like Jolteon. Which will be able to switch into Light Ball Boosted. Volt Tackles. I have to be wary of Extreme Speed, however. If he's special, it's a lot easier to deal with. Because... Stuff like Mega Gardevoir, we have Mega Gardevoir, we will be able to handle it better. It's a Mega Dancy, which is pretty annoying threat. It's also something that was on my radar, so he is the one that's tied to me from Mega Dancy in round one. However, I feel like I'm well prepared for it. This season did give it a really nice buff with the uh, addition of Power Gem, so now it can run Calm Mind and Power Gem, and that's really nice. So it can have dual stab and just break through a lot of cores. I do have stuff to handle it, and you will see that later on. It is his fastest mod, and that's something I did take into account. He has a Flygon. Choice Band, Choice Scarf, Dragon Dance with a Life Orb, or Dragon Dance with a Z-Crystal. I don't believe this is a Z-Crystal user, though. So, that's something to note. It can run physical, it can run special, it has access to Defog, and I believe that is his only way to remove hazards. It is. So that's very nice to know. It has access to U-Turn as well. You have a Heracross, very strong physical wall breaker, can break through stuff, can break through defensive cores really easily with stuff like Guts Boosted Facade, plus Guts Boosted Close Combat, etc. So I have to be careful about clicking status moves around without things around. I do have ways to switch into it, however, so that's very nice. Roserade, very, very, very strong, very good for hazard stacking, very good for being especially defensive. Just a very good model together. I've used it before and I really, really like it. Grass Poison type. Allows it to absorb Toxic Spikes on entry, so I did not want to bring Toxic Spikes, especially since he has another Poison type in Toxicroak. Can be a set of Sweeper on either side, has decent speed, and has access to that Dry Skin ability, which is going to let us switch into Scald Swing Suicune. So that is going to be his team in a nutshell. Now to go over the team that we are bringing. The first one we are going to be bringing is going to be our Mega Gardevoir. Mega Gardevoir has an amazing, amazing matchup this match. It outspeeds almost everything on his team, and what it doesn't outspeed, the only thing it doesn't outspeed is Mega Dancy, which I can take one hit from, except for a boosted diamond, or a, um, invested diamond storm. Although I do expect him to be bringing Power Gem. 
However, I can take most hits and I can fire back Hyper Voices. I have Psychic for the likes of the Weezing and the Volcanian, as well as Toxic Cloak and Roserade and the like. Thunderbolt is going to allow me to hit Volcanian even harder, as well as the Empoleon, which is very nice for me. And if he is going to be bringing a Silvali Water or Steel, I can hit that super effectively, which is nice. However, I do mostly expect um, Steel, because then he'll... Then that that because because that would force me more than anything to run focus blast and maybe have to miss. However, I'm not bringing focus blast because I don't feel the need to and I don't feel like missing. Any damage off until volley will just get it closer and closer to me sweeping with either this or something later down the road. I have max speed and max special attack. I do not like running 252, 252 spreads. As anyone can tell you. However, I did feel like this was necessary. I, he does have a Flygon, he does have a Celebi that both hit that 100 base speed, so I do want to be outspeeding that, so I will be running max speed. And there wasn't any real defensive... Defensive... How should I say this? A defensive jump point, I should say. That I really wanted to reach. No, no hits I really wanted to take in, I should say. <clears throat> anyway... Moving on, we have our Buzzwool with the Cobra Berry, Roost, Leech, Life, Ice Punch, and Earthquake. I have really weird spread, but this is going to allow me to ma maximize my special bulk. So I can take on stuff like Celebi, unless it's Rocking Psychic. I can take on special hits for the Toxic Croak. I can take a Life Orb Jacket Meteor from the Flygon. I can take a hit from the Roserade. A Flamethrower from Sovali, etc., etc., etc. With the Cobra Berry, I am able, am able to take hits from Heracross very, very easily. If he goes for Aerial Ace, then I can take it and just fire back a Leech Life or an Ice Punch and do get a lot of damage off. So that's very nice. Uh, did I not? <clears throat> okay, so you don't get a... Um, that's right, you don't get a Flying Type move, do you? You do not. So I haven't seen this team in a while. However, I do have 32 speed IV, which is going to allow me to outspeed some of his bulkier mods. If he's running a salt vest Volcanian and he's not running a lot of speed, I can outspeed that. If he's running a, I believe that was the only thing I was worried about. Or a really speedy, something like a Napoleon. If he's running a lot of speed on that, I want to outspeed that. That's always nice. And Bullion can be an issue to this because the only way I do have to hit that thing will be Earthquake. But I believe I will be just fine without it. Now then, Ice Punch is going to be there for the Flygon. If he is a physical setup Flygon, I will be able to take hits from that all day. And fire back an Ice Punch and be able to Oko it, so that's always good. Toxicro cannot do anything to me. Unless he has special HP flying, but I do have the Cobra Berry to take one of those hits and fire back an Earthquake. Roserade, I can take one hit from, fire back a Leaf Life, I believe. This bulk does allow me to take one Technician Life Orb HP Fire. So that's always nice. And I can take a hit from... I can take a non-moon blast from a Mega Dancy. So anyway, that's going to be a buzzwall. It very, 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 very has a good matchup defensively in this ma match. It can take hits from generally everything. And just fire back strong attacks. Next one we have is going to be our Suicune. We have a three attacks, really weird spread Suicune. So basically, the spread is going to allow it to take hits from any kind of Toxic Rope spread. spread. If he's Nasty Plot, if he's SD... No matter what, he cannot break through my sweet game. And 16 uh, special attack EVs is going to make sure that extra sentry is going to Oko that Toxic Croak. It is also going to do a decent amount of damage to the Roserade, our Hidden Power Electric. It's going to be there for the Empoleon as well as the Volcanian. And Rest is going to be there so I can stay healthy. Scald is just a great spammable move in general. It will hit the Mega Deancy, which I can take hits from. It will hit the Flygon, which I can take hits from. Sweet, uh, Weezing, Silvali, basically everything is going to be really pressured by this, except for Pikachu, Celebi, and not really Roserade. Roserade's still going to be kind of pressured just because I have the extra sentry on deck. 24 speed IV EVs, just so I can avoid being speed grabbed by stuff like Assault Vest, Volcanian, and stuff. This also allows me to switch into Volcanian, although I do have to be wary about Power Herb Solo Beams, so that's something. Anyway, Leftovers is going to allow me to stay healthy throughout this entire match. 
the entire point of this team is just going to allow these two, is just letting these two take as much hits as possible while letting my offensive mods just barrel through this team. Speaking of which, we have a Choice Banded Zygarde here. I tossed around Zygarde stats for a long, 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 long time on this team. I had Sub DD, I had Coil DD, I had Sub Toxic DD, I had Weakness Policy DD, I had all kinds of sets. And I thought about Choice Band for a while, and eventually I was like, it'd be really annoying to try and set up, because everything on this team can kind of have ice coverage. Heracross can have a natural gift, Toxic Hook can be running special HP Ice, Rosary can work to have some Gleam, Mega Deancey's, Mega Deancey, etc. It would be kind of annoying to set up, so I'd like to just be able to bring this thing in and click 1,000 arrows and get a kill. I do have Outrage, in case I need to pick off Flygon, if I can take a hit from that, and that thing is getting out of control, I can Outrage and just destroy it. I also have extreme speed in case it's weakened and it's out of control and I don't have to take the hit. It'll also allow me to hit a choice guard Roserade. It might be able to clean up late game for me, which is always nice. I do have max speed on there to, uh, to speed tie with the Silvali. Because the max speed Silvali will be able to ice beam me and take me out and I don't want that to happen. I want at least the chance for me to outspeed it and that thousand arrows it if it's weak to that and just take it off the map. I have Crunch there, and that is going to be mainly there for the Celebi. Celebi is a very good switch into Zygarde, so if I'm clicking Crunch on the switch in, I can get rid of that, and that is also going to be a annoyance for my Suicune, so I can take care of that, which is always nice. I do have Aura Break, and I'm going to be making sure every week that I have Aura Break and not Power Construct, because if I randomly bust that Power Construct, people are going to be mad at me. Now then, that's going to be Zygarde, very good breakout this match. Very good at just whittling down his team. I also have Outrage for the Heracross. I just realized. I knew I had another reason for Outrage. Outrage is also there for Heracross. So I can take that thing out. Because that thing is going to be able to switch in a thousand arrows. And crunches all day long. Woo. Now then our next one is going to be our Celesteela. We have Celesteela with a Fly and EMZ. Flash Cannon, Leech Seed, Air Slash, and Protect. Max HP. 152 Special Attack, 92 Spit Dev, and 16 Speed. 16 Speed. For the Weezing and the Empoleon, 92 speed or 92 speed F for the Calm Nature is going to allow me to maximize my bulk. While the 152 special attack is going to make sure that I get a beast boost in special attack. After doing calcs, I realized I did not need a lot of speed F to be able to handle stuff like the Mega Deancey, like the Rosary, like a special Flygon, and like the Celebi. So, I decided that a special attack beast boosting nature. Or a special attack in the or a beast boost in the special attack, my goodness. Would be the best case scenario. It'll let me just start snowballing. He'll see the damage. He'll probably see the damage from stuff like a, something like Rose Raid attacking me and be like, okay, so he's specially defensive. And then I can get the special attack beast boost and then just start breaking down his team, which will be very nice for stuff like Zygarde or Mega Gardevoir to late game clean. Z Air Slash is going to be there to pick off something like a Volcanion if it's Assault Vest or do a lot of damage to Napoleon. I think I'm about to go down. Or just help me take down something like Celebi or Roserade for sure. So I can start spamming Leech Seed and getting recovery and recovery and recovery. Flash Cannon is going to be almost exclusively there for the Mega DNC, so I can't OCO that. If that thing tries to hit me, I am not 3 AKO'd by Max Risk Attack Power Gem, so that's very nice. Now, then, the final mod we are going to be bringing is going to be our Jolteon. Expert Build Jolteon has such an amazing matchup this match. <laughs> Everything has such an amazing matchup. My offense matches up so well against his bulk, it's just so nice. I have enough speed to outspeed the Mega DNC. Modest Expert Belt is very nice. His way to beat this is Celebi, Flygon, or Resurrect, or Pikachu. Those are his electric resist. Pikachu will be taking damage a lot, I believe. He won't be taking Stealth Rocks because I'm not bringing Stealth Rocks this match. Because I don't really feel like I need it. Need it. But Celebi is not going to like the Signal Beep. Flygon is not going to like the HP Ice. And Rose Raid is not going to like the HP Ice. So that is going to be that. Anyway, that is going to be that. That's going to be our team. And I will be right back and connected with Blaze. Alright, guys, we are here connected with Blaze Templar on the Draft League server 24 hours later. But here we are. 
let's go ahead and accept and see what he is bringing versus us and we are going to see okay. uh, I forgot to mention that he actually switched wheezing for spirit tomb and that is a Zemon And uh, yeah, so I'll probably put something up on the team builder side, but here we are, and it looks like Mega Gardevoir is going to destroy him. So that's always good. What did he not bring? So Wally, Empoleon, Pikachu, Heracross, and Roserade. The fact that I don't see Roserade is really, really nice. Uh, so, potential leads on his part. Mega Dancy. To be honest, I really like Celesteela as a lead because it matches up well almost against almost anything on his team. So I'm gonna lead off with Celesteela. If he leads off with Volcanion, that's kind of annoying. But okay, so he leads off with Dancy. I will to go for Flash Cannon. I will not or predict. I will not do anything. I do not want to have Leech Sweep bounce back. But I will go for Leech Seed this time. Because he could go into Volcanion very easily on this. Because I don't think he would go Celebi just because I do have the potential Air Slash. Which I am carrying. So there's that. Mega Gardevoir has a really good matchup against He actually goes into Celebi, which is fine. Because I can just go ahead and Air Slash that now. He goes for his Rock, so this is going to be his Rocker. That does a lot of damage, so that seems like it's more of a physically defensive variant. Probably meant to take on Zygarde. They've seen most of my set by now, which is completely fine. Goes for Baton Pass, the Self-Rock Baton Pass, and two Volcanion. I just... no damage. Whatsoever. The fact that he did not bring Hazard stack is really nice, because I did not bring my, um, my, uh, Remover into Sijuai. I'm going to Sweeking here. It's fine. I could go Zygarde protecting the fire move, but I think Squeaking is overall just the best play. What does he double into? Celebi. That's fine. Potential's on this part. You can go right back and sell still if I really want to. I think I will just do that. I think he might be an Assault Vest variant of Volcanion. He's Nasty Plot but down past. Is very scary. I can just go ahead and leech seed because I do think he's gonna go into Volcanion on the next one. Which I have to be careful now because that could be power of solar beam. So I'm gonna want something that's gonna be able to outspeed that. I have to go with Flygon. I'm guessing a fire blast is coming out here. I don't really have anything. I, I'm not really s too scared of this. I mean, yeah, it's kind of weak. And I am fairly specially defensive. Well, if he's modest, life or plus two will kill me. It was always protect. Get a little bit more damage. He does reveal the fire blast. So potentials on my part are Zygarde. But he'll add speed me. Do I think he's modest life orb? I do not think he's modest life orb. I could supersonic sky supersonic sky strike, but I don't think that's the time right now, not with Volcanian around. If I could pressure Volcanion, I'd be a lot better. I did not bring rocks, and I'm really upset about that, but it'll be okay. Draco Meteor? Wow. The crazy thing is, I almost went into... Dove. I really thought about going into Dove on the Fire Blast, taking it, and then clicking Hyper Voice and dropping something. I can actually do that. As soon as I get Mega Gardevoir in, I can just Hyper Voice and something's gonna die. I could go into the Mega Gardevoir in this, to be honest. Question is, does Volcanion take a Psychic and a...
252. Gardevoir. Gov. You can. I'll go hard into it. There's nothing really he can do if he's a special set to me. Jacob Green's gonna do about 25, I think. That's fine. So the question is, if he's... He might be offensive. If he's offensive, he'll speed tie with me, and he can potentially just baton pass out beforehand. But... How much does that air slash do to him? Is he even max HP? Like, I can tell he's definitely not especially defensive just by the damage. However, if he is, in fact... That looks about right. So, I can... No, he looks like he's got some HP. So, maybe he's just max HP. He could be max speed. Uh, I will signal beam in case I'm faster than him. And I can just knock him out. He's speed ties. So he's max HP, max speed. So now he's going to get a free switch into his Volcanium. Yep. And that does not do nearly enough. Signal beam to 17. Ah, that's DBL. Whoops. Let's close that. So, Volcanium versus Mega Gardevoir. Signal beam. Yep, that is definitely the best, I believe. Maybe not. 248. Yeah, that's a solve dust. Salt dust. Slow's baby's definitely gonna kill me. No, I see. Okay. So, he's just out of range for Thunderbolt. So, this is a massive threat to me right now. I like keeping around Buzzbolt just because it beats everything. What can I afford to let go? I mean, Suikun is honestly just here for this, so I will just go into it. If he kills me, he kills me, then I go into Zygarde and I can click Thousand Arrows or Crunch. He goes for Flame Charge. Because he's a Salt Vest. He goes for Earth Power. Does a lot. Does that mean he's not Sludge Wave? Theoretically, I can live a hit with, um... Zygarde. Oh, I didn't burn any turns to sleep, so that's gonna go down. Salve plus Volcanion. I'm gonna go for it. I mean, what else do I have to do? Go into Jolteon. See if I'm, fa I'm faster. Okay, great. That was scary. I was nervous as all hell that I was about to get 6 0 swept by a Volcanion. Jolteon kills Volcanion. With. I don't believe this is a choice card. It's not because it's switch moves. Thunderbolt. Volcanion kills Suicune with Earth Power. I will go for HP Ice. I believe even if it's Yachi Berry, it will kill. Not nah, FK. If it wasn't Yachi Berry, then yeah. Alright, fine. <whistles> Kills Flygon with Hidden Power Ice. Really should have made Jolty on max speed, and then this would have never happened. So this comes out. And this is annoying to deal with. I'll have to go into Buzzbowl. I'm not going to risk a Sucker Punch killing me. Because a Swords Dance. Jesus. I'll have to go for Earthquake. Earthquake and two Bandit Extreme Seed will kill this thing. They can go for Gunk Shot if he wants, but I will be able to take it. And not knock him out. And you go for Salic Berry. He is all about the speed control today. God, I do not want my Buzzbowl to go down, but I kind of have to let it. First is a thing that was meant to kill. Toxic Croak. Kills Buzzwall with Gunk Shot, uh, Drain Punch. Uh, 
But now I can just go out into my Zygarde. Click the extreme speed. He's all about the speed control today. He goes into Spirit Team, which is a good play. However, I will go into my Celestila. Which, in theory, wins from here. Goes for Will O Wisp. Because I don't think there's anything he has that can really beat this anymore. Actually, I like Flash Cannon as a play. Do you stay in? Okay. You get a crit, which sucks. But if he's gonna stay in, I'm just gonna leaf seed him and protect and try to get back to a good amount of HP. Okay, he goes into this. Attacking it off. Yeah, just protect. So I'm at 43%, so I'm still out of range for any hit from Mega DNC. He goes into Celebi. He can't Nasty Plot and Baton Pass at the same time, because Super Scarlet Sky Strike will knock it out. And I think that's what he's trying to do. He's trying to Nasty Plot into... I guess he goes for Dazzling Gleam, which is his only offensive move, apparently. Cella Steela kills... I'm in range of Power Gym now, potentially. I have to just go for the kill. He's Diamond Storm? So here's what I have to do. I have to go into Jolteon. I have to Volt Switch, and pray Volt Switch plus Thunderbolt will get the roll. Okay. And then I have to sack Zygarde. For any reason, he clicks Diamond Storm, then I can, I'll be fine. Then I'll be definitely fine. I can extreme speed. You go for Earth Power. No. Okay, I was gonna say I should just thousand arrows, but it's whatever. He kills that. That was scary, guys. Mega DNC. Mega DNC is a threat. This is why I wanted this. Zygarde with Moonblast. And then Sir Arthur is gonna come in. Sir Arthur is gonna kick Thunderbolt. He clicks protect. He goes into spirit tomb. Do you take two? You do not take two. Oh, dude. That matches up with the damage. Dude. Oh man, I think he got me. Wait, he's not black glasses, he's leftovers. He needs a max roll if he's admin. With Sucker Punch. I'll go for it. He goes for Shadow Snake. And I think Jolteon just wins. Jolteon picked up four kills. Jesus. Jolteon kills Spirit Tomb with Thunderbolt. And I think that's GG. That is GG. Woohoo! Jolteon kills Mega DNC with Thunderbolt. What a great battler. His team is so weird to me. But maybe it's just because he has a Pikachu. And like five ground weaknesses. But you know, that was a good battle. Shout out to Blaze Tempar. Shout out to Mega DNC and was giving me a heart attack. But that is that. A game has been settled. And I wrote Swincoon on my notes. Swicoon. Volcanian killed Swicoon. Jolteon picked up four kills, so that's awesome. So here's our new MVP right here. Which is funny because I've never had an electro type even go near that many kills in a game. But that is that. I hope everyone enjoyed this battle versus Blaze Templar and the Nebraska Noiburns. Next week, we face off against someone. Can I do that right? Bam. And the whatevers. 
message me on Discord. I gotta go, guys. Hope you guys enjoyed.